Oh boy. Silver just went over 25, like about mm, 10, 15 minutes ago. Check this out. I'm going to change views here. Uh, camera, 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 camera. This one here. This one here. Yes. Let's watch the ticker. Let's watch the ticker. Right there. I want to see the ticker. I want to see what you guys are saying too, but let's just put you guys over on the side. Oops. Yeah, we don't want that one. We want this. Yes. Check that out. My gosh. Silver. $25.15. And it's going up. It's going to hit 40 guys. $40 per ounce. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. Look at that. Gold at 1945 So let's click on it right here. 1953 1954 is asking price. That's going to hit 2000 No problemo. Oh, man. Salivating. You know, I predicted on Jan uh, July 11th, within 30 days, and at the time when I made my prediction, my silver, silver price was at 19 Look at this. Unbelievable. It was at 25.34. <laughs> at uh, what? Seven? Uh, six ten? Wow! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Who's in the house? Anybody here? Four people in the chat. What's up? You don't think so? Oh, it's gonna hit 40. No problem. No problem. The silver for the gold prices. It's gonna hit 40. It's just going to keep on going up. This is insane. What's up? Caesar and Siren, uh, Siren Silver Stash. Yeah, I'm just so excited. <laughs> Getting tongue-tied. But yeah, man, I just watched an international stacker, and at that time, poof, it just did it. I can't believe it. I was watching this thing most of the day. <laughs> that guy's right. 35 that, that's it. No, 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 no. I don't know. For sure, do you think uh, just holding is the best thing? Or do you think, uh, you know, putting a little money in your pocket? I just think 35 is just too low, man. You know, I'm waiting for 100. I want 100 an ounce. <laughs> 100 ounce, I believe so. With the inflation, yeah. But, you know, we are in sort of an artificial recession right now. Who really knows what's going on? I think it'll go higher. Yeah, me too. It's going to keep on going. This is insane. Total insanity. It's like uh, we've been waiting for this. 100 what? Yeah, 100 an ounce. Yeah, I believe it'll hit 100 an ounce. It's just going to keep climbing. You know, it's not going to happen overnight, but I believe in time it will. It will hit that. Yeah, I wish I could just... <sighs> I'm not set up for a live stream like this, but man, I, I just got this camera holding. I'm just holding it right now. It, it might go 29. Ugh, it's going to blow past that, I'm pretty sure. From what I've been seeing, so gold keeps going. The price of our dollar is dropping a lot. You're going to start seeing price increases at grocery stores. Uh, man, we spent like $415 at the grocery store, um, but we need some major shopping. Plus, we spent like another 180 today. We had to get some uh, gro uh, 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 cleaning supplies, and uh, my daughter's scooter broke. So it's like, man, should we keep buying? It's totally up to you. I, I believe it's going to keep on going up. I just stopped buying uh, bullion because bullion, uh, I just don't want to pay that premium. You know, since we're here, let's uh, let's just go to JM Bullion right now and see where those things are at. Let's see where those American Silver Eagles are at. Look at there it is, twenty five thirty two. It's actually higher on JM Bullion. They're they're speculating a little high. Let's look at the Silver Eagles. See where they're at today. Oh, thirty four. Oh my gosh, as low as thirty four. That is so funny. Funny. Unbelievable. Pre-sale. <laughs> the older ones are 32. Look at this. With the credit card, 34.62. That's what's that's ridiculous. That's that's 
nearly ten dollars over spot. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'd rather buy silver dollars. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Look at this. Thirty-seven twenty-eight for American Silver Eagle. Are you kidding? Are you mad? Are you mad? Okay, let's go to uh, uh, my favorite. Let's go to Silver Dollars. Actually, I want to go to SD Bullion. That's usually where I buy my Silver Dollars. Um, let's see where they're at. Fifty-five. Yeah, well, that's a mid say sixty-four. But okay, thirty-one dollars for a gem Unk one. You know, that's not bad. But you don't know what ear you're gonna get as well but that's that's a real big increase in price big time it's kind of exciting I'm kind of scared right now this is happening so fast so fast let's go to SD my favorite SD this is happening so fast guys oh yeah all right all right let's see what they got for silver dollars and let's go for mid say 63 piece dollars here. All right, anybody, anybody, anybody commenting on the chat here? No? Okay. Um, hope I'm doing a good job. Okay, brilliantly uncirculated. They're now $32. Hey, coin help you. What's up? You see, this is the, right here is where I bought these. Um, right before everything was going to go up, I paid $26 a piece. I bought a whole roll of these. Now look at that. They're at 32 and I haven't even got my shipment yet because I paid with the check and I didn't want to pay the those extra premiums or, uh, uh, you know, I had to pay the tax, but I didn't have to pay shipping. So that's good. Um, these, these were at 34 I paid. Um, now they're at 39. I think they're going to pop again and go up again. So yeah, yeah. Um, and I bought one of these. This, this price has not changed. 100 bucks. That's why I say when silver goes up, you want to, pursue in your silver stacking go with some newsmatics like this because uh, the price fluctuation doesn't really affect these it's about the rarity and the condition yeah and it does at, at a certain point it's gonna it's gonna pop and those those prices will uh, fluctuate and go up to a point um, where are we at here let's let's go look at the Morgan dollars here I like this too see these are gonna be a little bit more. Okay, forty three ninety nine. They're out of stock. Okay, wow, they are out of stock of the nice ones. Yikes. Okay, well here we go. Um, Mid state sixty three. Now they want fifty bucks. I was paying forty four ninety nine. They they went up about five bucks. So I still like these. One hundred fourteen. That's not too bad as long as it's pre nineteen twenty one. Random dates. You probably get uh, an eighteen eighty four Philadelphia. You probably get something like that. Something pretty uh, common. So. Yeah, I had I had to up my prices. Dealers are pinching dealers for more demand is driving this up. Right, um, I hear you. My my wholesaler he sold two hundred thousand dollars worth of stuff in one day, and like daily. Um, he had a guy that bought a hundred thousand dollars worth of gold, and the next day he came back and he sold it back to him and made like fifteen hundred bucks. Then he came back the next day and bought a hundred thousand dollars worth of gold from him, and then sold it back to him. Like he, he was doing that for two weeks. He told me he's like he's getting sick of him calling him, but he's a valued customer. He says and he doesn't mind. The guy's making money either way, so I just don't get it, man. But yeah, that's that's pretty pretty smart, pretty fun little thing to do. Uh, yeah, I'm just really pumped, really pumped. Can't believe silver's at 25. What do you think, Daniel? Think silver's gonna get 40? I, I, I'm saying, sticking to my guns, I think it's gonna hit 40 with the price of gold being where it's at. Back in 2011, in September 2011, gold was right around that time and in that price range, and uh, I think silver's gonna be uh, right around 40, 45. I really, really feel that. So let's. We're on SD bullion. I want to see. Um, what the bullion rounds are on here so us silver eagles so you got the monster box last time i checked those were fifteen thousand some odd dollars now they want six set oh you see that it was at sixteen thousand seven 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 now it's at seventeen thousand two hundred ninety one dollars for a monster box oh hurt me that that hurts but you know if you owned one and you had that you'd say you bought bought that for eight thousand dollars like earlier in the year You'd be really, really happy. 
much different this time than 2011. Yeah, I know it's like our it's our official uh, recession. I, it just depends on the contracts that are that are being sold here and there, and the rarity. And there's a lot of uh, catalysts. That's the word um, that move the prices of silver. Um, so let's look at so their prices are 34.55. So I'm gonna click on this and see what it says for check and all that stuff. So they're really close. They're really close to the same with uh, the other people. JM Bullion. Let's see where where were we at again? I'm just comparing. I'm just comparing site to site. Um, there you go. 37.29 at JM Bullion, and then we go to uh, SD Bullion. It's 37 dollars and three cents. That's still really really high it just went down it just went down just like that ah oh, but hey let's see what gold's at right now did it go up yeah it's still about the same twenty five dollars and seventeen cents it's going up a couple pennies wow At the end of the day the market is really crazy watch china they don't like what is going on so might be seeking gold over usd now oh yeah yeah Gold is crazy. Here we go. Gold twelve dollars up again. Unbelievable. Most of the day I was at uh, thirteen. Uh, I mean nineteen thirty six today, and now I'm I'm, I'm liking to see that because this morning I think or was it last night? It was at nineteen seventy five. Yes. It's gonna break two thousand. This is crazy. Oh, I sure hope there's not gonna be a, a housing crash. Um, that's why I like to watch. Um, let's go to um, the debt clock. Uh, debt clock right there. This is uh, pretty crazy. I like watching this. So we got the ticker over here. We got the <laughs> national debts just absolutely uh, going down a million dollars every 18 seconds. But... Uh, the last time I did my video, we're right here. These numbers moved. They went up. So the dollar to silver ratio uh, is higher now. And uh, same thing with gold. That went up about, mm, I think it went up like, uh, uh, help me, 16 bucks. I think it went up about 16 bucks since I posted my video right here when it comes to the dollar to gold ratio. So I'm really into this. Um, and the gross national product, uh, gross domestic product, look at that. So that's twenty trillion dollars, unbelievable. That's the GDP, and see how, how much higher it's been going. Like this is the rates since 1960, 1980, 2000, and right now, it's actually pretty pretty close, getting up there. But we're having a lot of internet sales and stuff like that, so it, you're taking away a lot of jobs. So I mean, the workforce is down, but look at the taxes. So the people that pay taxes, you're, there are about 18 million people in the United States that don't pay taxes. So they probably have jobs like, like they work at a church, they're exempt of taxes or, or whatever. Um, that doesn't mean they're doing tax fraud or anything like that, but that's just that's just the numbers there. But this is a very interesting uh, website here. Um, yeah, this is in insane how much tax revenue versus how much the, the debt is. It's like we go through that. <sighs> It's like a it's like a parking ticket. This is nothing. Paying your taxes is like nothing. So anyway, the GDP is what you look at, not the national debt. We're owned more than all. Oh, yeah. We're owned more than anyone. Right, right, right. So anyway, I just keep thinking silver is going to keep on going up. And uh, I just, these premiums are just too high. I mean, right now I'm just holding right now. I'm just holding. I'm not buying anything right now. I'm not selling anything yet right now. I just don't think it hits that magic number. And I really don't know what the magic number really is going to be. But all I know is someday it will go down. And because people are going to start panicking and they're start selling everything and they're going to flood the market and that's going to, start to lower the price of silver again because now we're going to have silver back in the market again. 
I really do like those Chinese silver pandas. Yeah, they're pretty nice. I got, I think I still have one. I bought a couple of them. I flipped those and sold them. Uh, just stopped by to give you a thumbs up. Thanks a lot, Lincoln DMZ. That's awesome. I, I, I wasn't even planning on doing a live stream, but I was watching uh, International Stacker, and I just got inspired. And uh, I am planning on doing a, I want to do a free giveaway this Sunday just for silver i just want to give away a couple pieces of silver we'll play a little game or something like that because i i want to i want to kind of think about it and, and plan something a little bit um i do want to do a giveaway to get at four thousand subscribers i'm getting close but i don't want to announce anything yet because last time i announced something it just took forever and it just dragged on but this time i think i'm really going to get up to four thousand pretty quick and i'm going to switch on over and i'm just going to talk to you guys um Let's see, camera, 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 oops. Guys, sorry guys, I screwed that up. Press the wrong, wrong thing here. <sighs> There. Sorry, sorry about that. I don't, I don't like my stream yard. I wish I could have multiple cameras going at once. I just can't do that right now. So, I tried to stream uh, OSB. It just, it's not compatible. It just will not work for some reason. I have to basically get a brand new computer. Can't get that to work. So, yeah, I guess think about that. I mean, I, I just, in my opinion, I think silver's just keep on going up. I think gold makes it to 2000 and silver is not finished either i i agree daniel i really think it's gonna it's gonna go i think it's gonna hit 40. i'm really comfortable with 40 a lot of people don't agree i still think it could hit 100 because you know when we had the uh um the hunt brothers you know in 1980 silver was at 49 dollars 50 cents but with today's uh, inflation that's about 118 dollars so it's possible it can get up there um but when, if silver sustains at $25 per ounce, and I was listening to uh, Keith Newmar from uh, Majestic Metals. He's the CEO of Majestic Metals, and he's on Kitco News. Um, he said uh, once uh, the silver gets to 25 an ounce, um, they can actually make a profit mining silver. That's why there hasn't been any silver mines. They've only been collecting all their silver from gold mines. And now if this sustains long enough, but I don't believe it will, I believe it's going to, it's going to peak and it's going to fall. But if it did perhaps sustain itself for a long period of time and people are more comfortable at $25 per ounce, yes, it is at about $25. I'm just saying if it sustains at $25 for a long time, it can open up just silver mines so they can actually profit. So, But that could also change the uh, how much is being brought in to the country and bringing it, you know, for the market. Because, you know, it's like, over 10,000 different uses for silver in industrial use. And you know, with, with the future and all the technology that's happening right now, um, even like electric cars, they use like three times the silver as in a standard uh, elect, uh, ignition system on an internal combustion engine. Um, the demand for silver is going to be higher and higher and higher with more people driving, more people using cell phones. It's just gonna, the demand's gonna go. Good night, CGOM. Oh yeah, thanks. Uh, uh, Dan, uh, Damn, uh, Damon, ah, it was 50 last time, but each time silver was worth less when gold increases. Silver is a smaller, oops, it just moved on me, smaller market and easier to manipulate. Yes, yes, it's flexible. It's very flexible and gold's more stable. Um, I know that it can go up and down. It, I mean, silver could go down $5 tomorrow. It could also go up $5 tomorrow. We don't know. Plus, industries that require silver keep their uh, buying hush-hush. Right, they keep it all a secret, yeah, because they don't want people to panic. I understand that, Daniel. That's awesome. I'm glad you're here. It's, it's good to have some some good advice here on the channel here. Um, and also, Daniel says, the only reason uh, silver isn't up because of all the physical buying isn't public. Right, right. I, I agree. And you know, I've, I've been on lots of other channels. They, they kind of get angry at silver. And they're like, uh, they say I'm not, I don't, 
I'm not that I don't like silver. I love silver. They're just angry with the premiums. And I'm like, well, there are other ways you can get your silver and not pay those premiums. You can go to your LCS. You, you can go talk to Daniel Malone. Um, you could talk to my wholesaler or you can find a wholesaler. A lot of people ask me, where do, you, where do I get a wholesaler? I'm like, I just got lucky and it just fell in my lap. I just know the guy. But, uh, yeah, coin shops, uh, sometimes, you know, they have supplies, but they don't want, want to be like, hey, I need three rolls of American Silver Eagles. So there'll be some LCSs that are nice and they're big and they got large selections, but a lot of them don't have a lot. And they'd be like, because, you know, like the, the, the person that I deal with, um, Mike, at Mike's Coins, he had people calling him all the time. He's like, I, can I have like four rolls of American Silver Eagles? He's like, I don't even have that many. You know, or whatever. Hey, Silver Wolverine, what's up, bro? <laughs> I'm just ranting them a little, little bit. They don't want silver to cost more. Right, right, because you know what's happening. It's like people are like, um, like say, it's, that's why I don't want to have auctions right now because people are going to be so used to paying the old prices and they're going to be like, I can't pay 30 bucks for this. And I'm like, well, remember, silver's at like 26 or 25 an ounce. Oh, yeah, because they're going to be like, it's happening so fast. They're not used to the prices being this high. Um, it actually is freaking me out because uh, I've been planning, like, I wanted to sell stuff when stuff, stuff when silver gets high enough, but I kept thinking it'd be on the back burner, like, like way in the future of my life, you know, way in the future. And now it's, like, happening right now. I'm like, dude, I only have, like, 3,400 ounces. Um, that might not be my goal. And uh, I would have had more, but I like to, I like to, I was doing some auctions here and there, but I have a lot of stuff and uh, it's all at the bank. So it's kind of a hassle for me to get most of my stuff, but it's safe there. Um, what, what do you say? So their makers want silver to stay cheap. Yes, they do because it's a commodity, uh, the, the industrial use. Uh, but you know, the thing is like, even if silver was at like 50 an ounce, the cell phone, I mean, there's like, one twentieth of an ounce of silver in there, it'd be like what eight bucks in there. It's like it's still there, but the point is like silver could be uh, depleted at some point. Um, the fact is, uh, we've lost fifty percent of our national supply in, in four years, but we're like not mining enough to we're we're whatever we mine, we burn it up and then some. We shouldn't be buying this bull market. Good way to lose money, right? Right, because I remember what you said, Silver Wolverine, that uh, it can it can tank, and we're and I'm in agreement with so many uh, people in the in the coin collecting community that we're in a holding period right now. I'm in a holding period. Um, that's why you haven't seen me do any auctions for a while. Plus, I was kind of really like busy working and stuff, but then all of a sudden this happens, and I was willing to do some auctions here and there, but then all of a sudden this happens, and I'm like, okay. I'm announcing that I'm gonna hold, you know, just my favorite song. You gotta know when to hold them. Yeah, I don't wanna bore you guys with that. There is a ton of silver, right, right. You know, you can fit all the silver that was mining in the history of the world and fit it on a ship, <laughs> you know. It's, there's still tons of, lots and lots of silver. Like you could fill up, uh, basically my the, the square footage of my home, if it was solid from wall to wall with silver, that's basically, all the silver that's ever been mined. My house is, you know, at a far, it's pretty large, but if you look from outer space, it's tiny. Like, well, you know, it's a 1,700 square foot house. <laughs> oh. so. Silver will never be cheap again until at least 2023. I still think it'll drop. But I'm thinking it's going to keep on continuing to rise like this until the election. I mean, that, that's my honest uh, opinion. Uh, it's an educated opinion just because I still think a lot of this stuff is kind of that, that artificial recession. You know what's going on. I don't really want to mention it on a live stream. Um, but I just believe all this market activity is happening because of the you know what you need the mask for right um and then we got the election so i'm thinking if i ever wanted to sell anything i would probably wait a couple weeks prior to the election and let's just see where the numbers are at because i can't make i'm not going to make up my mind right now 
I'm saying I'm holding. I'm holding. Papa Zero, what's up? Seeing you on uh, International Stacker. Oh yeah, I didn't. I didn't win any silver because uh, I guess my internet connection is too slow. I can't. I can type in that question in a second, and it takes too long, and somebody's already comes in. My my information comes too slow. <laughs> Central banks printing money is a is a pusher of silver, right? The more they print, the more money that they print, the the more devalued your fiat currency is. It's dropping in value, which is raising the price of gold. And then silver is just basically it's pulling its way up. When when gold's going up, silver follows it a little bit. So that's why this is kind of a different thing. But still, the catalysts are there. The silver is rare. Silver is needed much more. The demand's much more than it was 15 years ago or 20 years ago. It's a lot of demand. <sighs> so we got to have those catalysts on a... And this is the most important metal in, in the world, is silver. So, Papa Zero says, So silver will go to 28, then drop to 22 as a pullback. That might happen. It might happen. It might pull back. And then it'll go back up. See, we still got three months, guys. Um, I think I was just watching International Stacker where it was going up. And it took a couple months. And then and then it pulled back. And it took about, that gap was about a month and a half. And then it went up. And then it really spiked. And then it just kind of just. So we could have a couple months. And silver could just really amaze people, I believe. I really do. Wow, we got 22 people in the chat on an unplanned live stream. It's like a secret live stream, everybody. Silver Wolverine says, I am starting to think the real money is in the paper markets. So you want to put some money in EFTs? That's cool. I think that that's a great way to flip because it's easy to sell. It's like you could have large quantities on there, and then you like all you got to do is click sell. It's, it's very hassle-free. Stephanie Mangus says the, the banksters are going nuts with the paper contracts because they don't have the money to settle them. Oh, yeah, that's right. Definitely. I believe that. Um, Archaeology Mikey says silver will drop by the end of the summer because of the second stimulus check and the president election. Both will affect the silver prices. That's, pretty, that's a pretty good... Uh, yeah, I, I should have said something about the stimulus check. So... Um, the stimulus check, I think that was about $600 billion out of a $4 trillion uh, stimulus. So where's the other $3.4 $3 trillion going? Um, yeah, that addition all that money is going to lower. Actually, I think it's going to lower our uh, fiat currency, the power of our buying power again, because the, the debt is even increasing even higher, which I think is going to make gold go up. Um, and it's possible we can have a pullback after the end of July when they start doing the second checks. Well, actually, there's like this uh, this care package that's going to end at the end of July as well. And then they're going to have the stimulus package. So I think silver's going to rise until it gets... Hey, it's a stacking stormtrooper. What's up, bro? Your son's fifth birthday? Oh, you can't stick around. Pew, pew. <laughs> what was I talking about? Uh, the elections. Yeah, I was just talking about elections. Uh, okay, so the stimulus package. So... Uh, I think silver is going to go up, and then it's going to—it might fall back for a little while. But I think it's going to get some more momentum shortly after. And so, you know, and, and most of my information is just from—it's just from being 42 and being passionate about this stuff for 30 years. Um, I could have all the charts and graphs all I want. It really helps me, but. Um, I've been nailing a lot of predictions just because I'm, I'm a very good bidder and, a, you know, as a professional, as a paint contractor, I'm, I can bid numbers. I'm good with numbers and uh, it's working for me. Oh, thanks, man. It's a second stormtrooper. Wish you could stick around. Yeah, this is like a totally unplanned uh, live stream. I'm just so excited that silver popped at $25 now. It's like about an hour ago, so I'm really happy about that. Coin Shark, what's up? Welcome in the chat. So, man, I don't really know. Um, I'm hoping tomorrow. Uh, let's see. I want to. I'm gonna look at the market. 
Oop, I'm gonna look at the markets again here. Let me just double click these over. If I see anything interesting, where am I at here? Uh, ooh, silver went up again. Holy cows, guys! Check this out. I got I gotta flip cameras around here. Uh, which one is it? This one. Uh, number two. Look at that. Twenty-five forty. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, look at gold. Gold went up like, um, literally it went up, um, $8 since I started the stream, guys. This is insane. It was 1955. My stream, I've been on for about 20 minutes. This is incredible. Totally incredible. Yeah, well, there you go. The numbers are here. Now, everybody's forgetting about plat Palladium. My gosh, Palladium is in is incredible right now. It's at a record as well. Palladium, I got to talk about Palladium. I don't own any Palladium, but Palladium is big in the auto industry. It is a, a very much needed uh, commodity for the catalytic converter. Okay, it stops emissions. Um, so look at this. 2418 is what they're asking. Um, 2268. This is an all-time high. The all-time, the record was 2221 was the high. So this broke a record today as well, and I haven't heard anybody preaching anything about platinum or palladium. So gold and palladium are at all-time records today. Now here's the here's the chart. Look at that. Look at the increase it it did uh, in today. Unbelievable. That's that's insane. Total insanity, guys. Wow. And let's flip it over and Oops. FaceTime, yes. Yeah, that is uh, that is incredible. So since I started this live stream about 32 minutes ago, gold went up $8 and silver went up um 27 cents. That's incredible. Um, yeah, Noah, I'm thinking uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a, a free giveaway uh, this weekend. I think on Sunday we're gonna give away a couple coins. Um, I'm gonna plan some sort of a game, and then uh, I guess we'll go from there because I know people are excited about silver. And I think it's gonna help the channel, and uh, I think we're gonna do. I want to do a 4,000 subscriber giveaway uh, announcement video. I'd say in a couple weeks because uh, I'm I've been getting pretty. Um, uh, see you later. Uh, uh, Coin help you. I love you, man. You're a great channel. I'm thinking, uh, hmm, got to have a ga. Got to have a giveaway ga for for 4,000k. I've been pretty steady on my on my uh, subs. I think I'm gonna get it in a certain amount of time. I'd say by September I'll have it. So I'm, yeah, I'm trying my best getting that content out there. When I'm busy working, I'll tape my cell phone to my my mirror on my truck and I'll just start talking. Because I need to get, I need to keep my channel going. Last year I just kind of broke away and it, and it hurt my channel a lot. And I'm not gonna do that. I want to keep on producing content. So U.S. Silver Stacker, good evening. He says yes. Um, I did some tree trimming and I'm gonna be having a fire tonight. Um, I got one more day off, and then all hell's gonna break loose. Busy, 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 busy. I have Sundays off though. Inflation adjustment price of silver in 2011 would be $60 today. Yep, I heard about, I read about that. In 1980, um, it would be 118, 120 that with inflation. And we got that from um, the greatest truth never told. I watch him every day. That's why. That's why I believe if silver continues to rise, I think it's going to keep on going until it hits 100. I really believe that. But it can, I'd say between 50 and 100. Cool. Um, it hits those numbers, man. I told my wife we could buy a, a house, another house. I mean, that's in, that's insane. Um, take an asset and, and buy an asset with that asset because houses go up in value as well. So, but you got to have money to make money. The millionaires get richer. So, all right, guys. Um, man, I had a lot of fun here. Um, ben detecting, what's up? Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut cut everybody short here today. Thanks for the super chat. Uh, Stormtrooper, Stacking Stormtrooper, it's a great channel as well. He really tries really hard. Uh, he's got content every day. So, and he's a bullion dealer. So, 
Rock on, everybody. And, uh, yeah, I think there's going to be a, a coin show on August 8th. I'm going to see if I can – I'm going to check my calendar see if I can get to that. It's probably not looking good because my August is incredibly, ridiculously busy. So – Housing crash coming. I heard about that in December. Probably will crash. Yeah. You see, I'm gonna I'm gonna relay on what what Jack Blackburn is just talking about right now. You see, uh, my builder, he uh, he buys plots of land and he they build roads and they start building houses. Well, we are on all these projects and I've noticed that he's not building any. He's not getting any new projects, but he's trying to plot everything out getting all these houses built on these roads and on this project so i'm, I'm in control i'm in control of three different projects got elk river and two in saint michael okay he's not building any he's not getting any more lots so that is telling me without without asking him anything that's just from total observation um something's gonna happen or he believes that he doesn't want to owe all that all those land payments. He wants to get those houses sold because he's a smart guy. He knows everything about the market as well. And uh, that's why it makes me think that. And when I see these numbers, when I watch the, the debt clock, and I and I watch the uh, um, the interest rates on homes, uh, I want to make sure all those numbers are staying relative. When they start going like this, Pretty soon you're gonna be paying five dollars for a gallon of gas. Um, it's gonna be so ridiculous expensive. You can't even go out to dinner. Um, your groceries are gonna be ex insane because the pro the value of your dollars dropping. Gold's going up. What do you do? You can't buy stuff with gold. You know. I mean, you have to trade it in, get cash, then you can buy stuff with it. I was almost thinking if silver went high, I'd sell and get cash. Wait for the metals to crash, okay? And then go buy gold again, or gold, gold and silver when it drops. That's what I was thinking. But at the same time, if I do that, then the value of my dollars could also drop as well, and I probably won't see so much of a decrease in the me of, of the precious metals at the same time. It's up to you guys. What do you guys think? Um, I got a couple months to think about that. I'm also doing some prepping right now. I'm prepping, so. Um, Waiting for some paychecks. I pay off my truck. Short-term loan. Knock that out. Okay. I'm going to get one of those uh, coffin freezers. Okay. I'm gonna buy a half of a pig or half a cow or something like that. I'm gonna butcher it. So basically, I have like eight hundred dollars worth of meat that would have cost me like three thousand dollars at the grocery store, and uh, I'm gonna have for a long time. That means I don't have to go out to the store all the time. I have food here at my house. You know what I'm saying? We're just going to have to accommodate. And I'm not buying bottled water no more. I bought the zero filter. So now we can buy, uh, we, we don't have to buy any more water. We can just filter our own water, put it in the refrigerator, and keep it cold. So we're on the right track. I got a 90 day plan of prepping for whatever situation. Gold, silver could go up. And, uh, you know, I want some more bullets just in case for my rifle, just in case. Just prepping. You got a quarter cow for six. Oh, that's a good price. Good price. What about what about the butcher? Um, how much is the butcher fee? I'm sure the butcher is like 100 bucks, 120. So it's probably around 800, like I kind of said. Yeah. Dogwood Outdoors. What's up, Broski? Yeah. These next three months are going to be very exciting, guys. Very exciting. Um, I'm planning on changes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I preach. Pay out. Try and work on paying off short-term loans. Don't worry about your credit cards. Your credit card bills are always going to be there. I'm talking like a uh, car payment or um, um, maybe knock out the cell phone payment for Verizon Wireless. So all you got to do is just pay the activation. I just have to pay the uh, service fee. So that's going to drop my price by 100 bucks a month. Um, I got a good health insurance. Uh, that dropped, uh, that saves me about 450 a month. Um, I'm saving lots of money. I know groceries have been going up, but I've saved uh, probably 1200 bucks a month, you know, just by changing things. And it doesn't really matter. I could I could go get lobster every night. It doesn't matter. I'm still I'm still in the green every day every day. But uh, I can't think like that. I still gotta be thrifty because we're in good times right now. And 
I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I'm just trying to, it's kind of fun for me to kind of invent, uh, yeah, I should prep, get some survival gear, what the heck, you know, you never know when you might need it, that's, that's kind of what I'm trying to say, I'm not trying to scare anybody. Do you guys think silver will still go up? Definitely. I definitely think it's going to keep on going up. I definitely think, uh, I'd say between 50 and 100 an ounce. I mean, uh, you know, in 2011 when gold was at 1920, where was silver? Silver was at 40. I mean, it was at 40, 50 an ounce. Easy. We got a whole cow for 1,500, 200 with the butcher fee. Hey, there you go. There you go. That's not bad at all. So if you get a half a cow, like the other person said, 680, so the butcher fee is probably like 100, 120. So it would be about 800 total. See, I'd like to get a half a cow and get a half a pig. You see, because I like to get some brisket. I like to get some sirloin, New York strip, you know, you know, and beef ribs, you know, whatever. Plus, I like to get, you know, my ribs and my bacon and, and all that stuff. So I like to get, I like to diverse, get a half a, I, I can go halfsies with a buddy. A buddy, if another buddy of mine's interested, I'm like, let's go get a whole cow. I get half, you get half. Let's go and get a whole pig. You get half, I get half. I think that'll work. You, know, you probably save save more money that way too. I could probably go go halfsies with my father. Actually, he probably would be down with that. So, talking brisket makes me hungry. Oh, I love sweet brisket. Brisket with like a, a sweet Hawaiian bun. Okay, and then uh, coleslaw and a pickle. That's all you need. Oh, a couple pickles. Divine, absolutely divine. Yeah, I, I'm hungry. Seven o'clock. I haven't even eaten dinner yet, guys. Oh my goodness. He got a whole pig for two twenty at the butcher fee for one hundred and twenty. Oh man, you guys are making me hungry. You know, there's this place that opened in in a Hanover. It's called the Big Boar Barbecue. I got a seventy five dollar gift card from my my father for uh, for for uh, my birthday. And I can take it wherever I want. He's like, go there. You'll love it. It's amazing. I'm like, really? He's like, well, yeah, everything's out of the cart. So if you, you want a whole rack of ribs, it's 25 bucks, which is not a bad price, but it's 25 bucks just for the ribs. You want a Coke? That's extra. You want uh, you want uh, cornbread? That's extra. You want uh, coleslaw? That's extra, and so on. Okay, I'm interested in see what silver went to. Gold still at the same. Gold's at uh, silver is at uh, twenty five fifty four now, guys. Wow, we're up four more cents. That's incredible. Woo! Okay, guys. So I'm gonna work on uh, so the rest of the week. Actually, tomorrow I'm gonna start uh, whipping something up because I got tomorrow off too. I'll plan something for Sunday. I want to do a got, but I'll do a. Uh, a pre live stream, a pre live stream video announcing that when that happens. I, I really want to do it because uh, it's gonna be sweet. People are gonna just gonna fall, fall, fall right on in. You know what I'm saying? Silver's at 26, dude. I said I was at Silver Torch 66 uh, yesterday, and silver was at 22.88. I told him I think silver's gonna hit 26 this week, and he's like, CGOM. I think that would be great. Look at it. It's like every time I open up my mouth, it happens. I did a video in 2000, or January, or July of two, uh, this year, July 11th, that I predicted that silver would hit $25 an ounce in the next 30 days. It happened. Un Unreal. That should put me on the map. CGOM predicted that. I'm, I'm really happy. <laughs> okay, guys, peace out. Keep on silver stacking. Oh, 2562. You guys are you guys are killing me. You guys are killing me. Killing me. 2562, yes. Oh, it's gonna hit 26 tonight. Uh the market's closed at 8 o'clock. Who knows? The, now is the exciting time. It's gonna go up and down. It could go up and down. There's so much activity going on in the last hour. This is gonna be crazy. I'm it's gonna hit 26. That's gonna be oh trapping me psyche. Is that how you say that? Oh man, trapped in psyche. Oh, 26 would be great. I say it hits 30. I do too. I say it hits 40, dude. I say it hits 40 in the next two weeks. <laughs> I think gold's gonna hit 
2,000 in the next three days for sure, if not tomorrow. Uh, I don't know, man. We're talking, we could have a total cr uh, collapse. Uh, we could have a depression soon, guys. Because um, the last time this happened, this was after the recession. So, golly's catalysts. The catalysts are different this time than they were last time. So last time we just had a total crunch. The everything crashed, and uh, then it was starting to rebuild. And then the precious metals went up. You see, right now things haven't collapsed yet. Things haven't crashed yet, and yet the precious metals are going up. So it's a little early for me. Twenty-five seventy-four, dude. Let me let me see. Let me see. I'm on Kitco right now. It's at twenty-five sixty-five. That's their asking price. The bid price is $25.54. Yep. I'm sure JM Bullion's a little higher. Let's go to JM Bullion. Let's see what they say. $25.39. Okay, let's go to uh where's SD? Where's SD Bullion? They are at uh $25.35. So they're they're a little behind. So Kitco is at $25.58. Just went up. $25.58. 2568 is where I'm at right now. Silver prices will drop, don't you think? It will be fifty dollars. I know. I'm not. Even, I'm gonna be so busy working when it hits that. I won't be able. I won't have time to sell, man. I have to go to the bank. Cause I just want to sell my dimes and quarters. That's it. That's it. Or, gosh, what, what's the smartest thing to do? Cause I know if you buy gold right now, gold's just too dang high. So I'm like thinking. If I cash out when silver's high, hold my cash, lock it up, and uh, wait for things to drop, and then buy back in. That's what I'm thinking of doing. Twenty-five eighty on money uh, metals market. Oh, cool, metals market. Yeah, there's. Yeah, that's probably. Uh, it's probably gonna be there in a couple minutes. This is like I said at the end of the, at the end between now and eight o'clock. A lot of things could happen. A lot of things can happen. It could go up. It could go down. This is this is insane. <laughs> oh, you see, some people show their faces and some people don't. And I just think I'm I'm fine. You know, about security and all that stuff. You only have twenty ounces. Ooh, hey, I just bought a. Well, it wasn't well. I got it. it's almost an ounce coin, but from Mexico. I love Mexican silver. I I want to find more Mexican silver. I just love it, man. I want some more Libertads. So Libertads are, oh man, that's, uh, actually they don't have any Libertads at those websites. I have to go to eBay. Guy, can you imagine on eBay everything's changing? Um, sometimes you can go to your LCS and you can get your old. You can get old prices still, and sometimes they'll honor those old prices. There you go. I have a few hundred dollars in silver. All right, sweet. Oh, what am I cooking tonight? Seven o'clock. I love this time of day. I should, yeah, I just got to chill. Tomorrow I'm going to go for a nice run, maybe a bike ride in the morning. Have my coffee, whatever, and uh, let's see what the prices are going to be. Ten dollars is better. Ten ounces is better than none. That's right. That's right. It doesn't matter how much you got as long as you got some. You know, uh, I have a lot of people that uh, they don't want to hear what I have to say. You know, my friends or whatever. They like. I'm like, yeah, silver is really up, and I'm waiting for them to be like, yeah, I wish I would have bought some. I'd be like, mm, yeah, you know. I'm like, like I'm uh, trying to hook you in, like, yeah, you know, and talk about it, and then it's like. Oh, well, that's nice. I'm like, I got, I got a pension, and I'm like, you know something? They can take that pension. No, they can't. I'm like, well, they might not. Uh, my dad's social security dropped a certain percentage, so think about that. I mean, I do have social security coming when I retire, and I've been working on stuff with Edward Jones, and uh, I got pretty. I have a, I don't have a lot. In my retirement stuff, it's like seventy-seven thousand, and so does my sister. My sister has seventy-seven thousand dollars in there too. But I told my my sister, I'm like, I just diversify. I don't put all my eggs in one basket. I got silver, and I got my retirement stuff too, because you never know. I mean, I just I can't do everything, but I I do what I love. How much silver is enough? Um, your weight. <laughs> 
Um, I think I got, see, I weigh 213. I have 232 pounds of silver, about that. A couple security deposit boxes. It, 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 it really adds up. Like, uh, all these bins, if you were to, you couldn't pick up all my silver at once. So you can't. You just can't. I got all these heavy uh, uh, canvas bags. And there's no way you can grab all of them and pick them up. You just can't. It, it weighs a lot. Jared's 250. Archaeology Mikey's at 130 soaking wet. Ooh, yeah. See, I, I used to be 180. And then as soon as I hit 39, like, I just started falling apart. <laughs> I don't know. That's a lot. Almost 3K. Nice, 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 nice. That would be that'd be incredible. We're talking about people's weights. <laughs> you guys are funny. Oh, I used to remember when I weighed 176. Man, I was a I was a high school wrestler. 171 in high school. Actually, uh, in 11th grade, I was down to 144 and a half. You can see my, I still had a 33 inch waist at 144 and a half pounds. My bones, my hips are wide. Uh, it's goofy, but yeah, I, I'm candy coated, you know, but I'm 42, you know. I'm not, I'm not a teenager no more, but you know, I, I still feel like I have more stamina and strength than some of these young kids today. I mean, I could run, I could bike, I could pick up stuff, I could work around the house, I could stay busy, and all the other people, that's, uh, that I tire them just by them watching me. I exhaust them because I just don't stop. I'm a machine. I don't stop. Guys at work are like, dude, take a break. You just don't stop moving. I'm like, well, it's my business. I'm, I'm not, like, going fast. So, whatever. A punching bag? Yes, I got one. What part of Minnesota do you live in? <laughs> I, would, I was just going to say I live in the St. Michael area where the water's horrible. I bought, yeah, well, I, I mentioned earlier I got that zero filter. The parts per million was one, 385 parts per million. So, it's got lead and all this other junk in it. Unbelievable. Hey, SG Mix Adventures. Hey, what's up? I haven't seen you for a long time. Well, I'm sorry. I apologize. I've been, uh, I've been trying to share with so many people as, as I possibly can. I apologize. But, yeah, I got the zero filter. So I think that's the wave of my future. We're just going to keep on getting these filters. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, sweetie. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but I think I'm going to cut her short here. We've got about an hour in here. So just talking about silver, I want to see where it's at now. Uh, 25.55, so it went up one more penny, and gold went down $1. So nine, uh, 9.62. So that's not that's not too bad, not too bad. A lot of activity is going to happen. I, I'd be really – I'm going to be checking this thing right about 8 o'clock after I eat my dinner. I, I think she's gonna hit 26. Good to see you. Thank you. Archaeology Mike. My, Archaeology Mike says I bought a BU 19 1880s Morgan Dollar fully rainbow toned for 37. Oh, I love rainbow toners. I've seen a couple on on Facebook. They look really nice too. Oh uh, yeah. Um, I was talking to a guy. He has a 1916 penny. Looked like it's in decent shape. He's like trying to say that it was a proof, like a matte proof. I'm like, well, I told him I'm not an expert on these, but uh, I told him I have 1923S that has the square wide rim around it. And they didn't make proofs in 1923. Okay? I told him, your coin looks kind of like mine. You don't have the texture in the fields. And, uh... He's like, well, I have the die chip that's in the nine. I'm like, well, I can't, I couldn't see that on your photograph. Sorry, I mean, I just told, I just gave you the website. I'm like, if you're really sure that's a map proof, then send it in. It's only gonna cost you like 70 bucks, send it in, or 50 bucks to send it in, whatever. Some of these people get really arrogant with me on Facebook, and they're like, it is that, because I know that. I'm like, well, then send it in and prove me wrong. But then they don't. 
because they're still not sure, but they just want to like get that last word in. And I'm very nice on Facebook, very very nice. And sometimes there's just some people that just can't get happy. I subbed after watching your training video in the punching bag. Oh yeah 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 yeah. I haven't done that. In, I haven't done that in a couple weeks. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I got I got I love that. That's addicting. <laughs> I like to do it when it's super hot outside. Actually, it's pretty hot. I'm pretty hot right now. But anyway, told the guy just just uh, grade it, see what see what see what it comes back at. I told him it's probably cleaned. And he's like, "Well, I don't see any uh, evidence of cleaning." I'm like, "Well, you don't have you don't have a fluorescent light or whatever. You got to have a really bright light, uh, 500 watt, and really look at it. Um, if you see any striation marks, you know it's been cleaned. Or I just thought the surface looked kind of goofy. It just it looked kind of, it wasn't like dull, but it was like more uniform. The, and that's what I mean, if it looked uniform. I bought a 1947S quarter fully rainbow tone for seven bucks. Oh, man. I thought I had a really sweet tone coin in here. I got to start organizing my stuff. I've been thinking about just throwing everything in a bag and just uh, everything that's constitutional throw in a bag. Yeah, this is fake. Uh, I'm saving these. These are the crackouts, my crackouts. So when I get my coins back, we're going to do uh, a guess the grade scenario when that happens. Um, I, got, I got something sweet. Oh, yeah. This is a, like a giveaway item. It's fake. <laughs> it's a fake Morgan dollar. So anyway, this is a really nice uh, SLQ, 1930, legible date and everything. So I got some giveaway stuff. I got some giveaway stuff. So yeah, guys, uh, I'm getting kind of hungry. I'm going to take a break for lunch or dinner and then uh, probably going to have a fire. Maybe I'll go for a bike ride before the sun goes down and then uh, go for a, finish my last beer and, and uh, have a fire. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for coming.